You know, for me, action always creates inspiration. It's always the opposite for me. Action. When I've been creating things, I've always just started to get the ball rolling. And even though I don't know how I'm going to do it, and even I don't know what the script is, the script isn't even there. But when I decide to move, it happens. You know, like in my first film, my very first feature film, where I was making films on film, I had no money, I had no clout, I had no contacts in any shape or form. I'd just done a small two night play in my local town and you know I had alcohol problems, I was living in a flat, nothing in the flat, just a couple of chairs and a bed, my fridge was empty, the only thing that was in it was like you know half a dozen cans of lager and half a bottle of vodka and I had just drunk the half a fucking bottle of vodka, you know I, was, I wasn't in a good way you know but I decided, uh, I, I felt that was a storyteller inside and I wanted to make a film and I hadn't even read any film books because there was no online videos or behind the scenes making it. It was one of those days where you just, there was no inspiration anywhere. So what I did was, as a craziest fucking thing, I phoned up Panavision um, and Camera Hire in Glasgow and I said, how much is a film package? I'm going to make a film. How much is it? And they quoted me some like, you know, 12 grand or something like that, 12,000. I says, oh, that's, that's, that's pretty reasonable. <laughs> I'm sitting there on my flat with in my underpants and pissed out my head. I'll be back. I'll be back later. And uh, I did get back later, about 18 months later, we had producers on board and the finance and everything else. And how did I go from that to that? Well, I was in such a bad place, I thought I was going to die, that I decided I'm either going down or I'm going up. So I decided to move. And it was like, wait, what do I do now? Right, okay, I try and get a package together. I went to a local business place, I done a business plan. They helped me, said, right, get pictures, get some sort of concept together, get a trailer. I raised some small amount of money to go to America and make a trailer, get photographs, get a package. Went to the Cannes Film Festival with credit cards, went to Hollywood, went to London, eventually got a budget, Guy Ritchie's producer, got the financing board, went to America, made the fucking film within about two years. If you looked at that in paper, that wasn't going to happen. But I just had to move, I had to keep moving. I hadn't even wrote the script when I phoned up for the camera package. And I learned, that was always, that's why I talk about my first film, because there was a lot that I learned from it, even though there was a lot of negative stuff. And I took that forward to my next film, which when I was working at McDonald's a few years later, and I went downhill. And I went, I did that. So I'm going to get that fucking film made from working at McDonald's with no money. Because if you want to make films back then, in a way you didn't need money. Because if you're trying to get 350000 it's not your own money anyway when I made my first movie. It doesn't matter if you've got no money in the bank. You know, money comes from industry. But by the time that Mission X was done, it was like more money. I took the same action in McDonald's. What did I need to do? Go to a film uh, college, get some students, get a camera, start making the film, get the ball rolling. And of course, somebody else came on board, gave me some money. Again, I carried that forward about two years later when connected with some people online to make a horror movie called Screen. I had no money, we'd done a little crowdfunding campaign. Went to America, learned the camera. There was no cast there because I'm out in the middle of you know, Oklahoma and Tulsa, where it's not the best place to find actors and stuff. Managed to pull it together, connect with people on the internet, made the film. Again, a few years ago, I made a film called Cold Bloody Killers. And I says to Stephen Brady, who I've always worked with in Crime Lord, that says, look, I've got this idea for a film about a couple of hitmen that go to an island, they've got three days to find a guy to kill him. But they end up nearly killing each other because they get cabin fever in this cottage as they drive around the island. And I says, that's the concept. And he says, I'm on board, you know. So I booked the cottage by Airbnb. I booked the ferry to get the car across. I got some small crew on board, some more cast. And uh, I says, right, we're going to do it in two weeks' time. So I had like fucking seven days to write the screenplay. But because I'd booked everything and spent money, you know, on my credit cards, this is fucking happening. You know, I've created action, I've got the ball rolling, got everybody excited, it's happening. And of course we did it, you know, we shot it, we made it, now it's on Amazon Prime. My point I'm trying to make is it doesn't matter how professional you are, it doesn't matter if you know all the things about script writing, how to make a film, and lenses and camera, and how to cast, the th things I'm saying on here, they're all important. But you can have all that knowledge, but you don't have the, f you, there's no fire inside for you to move. You have to decide, you cannot sit and wait to be fucking inspired to get the right idea for a story to get the right money, to get the right circumstances. There's a million reasons not to make a film. You know, your lizard brain will tell you you can't do this, you shouldn't be doing this. So half the time you just have to move, like I did there when I was drunk at my fucking head in the flat, you know, just to move and make things happen and it gets your energy going and gets your inspiration going. Other people get inspired, they want to get bored. It's, I'm, 
for me that's one of the most important things if I was teaching filmmaking that is so important is to move in action rather than thinking about it and talking about it and pondering about it and that's the only way I get inspired and that's why I keep moving. Anyway thanks very much for watching if you like these videos please like because it helps to grow the channel please subscribe to it and uh, I'll keep doing these as I make films you know because um, if it helps anybody in any way with filmmaking you know and we've got to learn for each other to push forward and build our own sort of filmmaking brands then that's why it's a reason for me to keep doing these as well. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks a lot.